What is going on guys? It's Bricks for Days, also known as Alex. And today I'm coming at you with another LEGO Creator Expert kit review. Uh, this time it's going to be the Fairground Mixer. So let's get right into it. So we got a lot of minifigures coming with this one. We have 12 in total. Uh, let's kick it off with the four kids. We got this kid who looks really excited. He's got an ice cream cone and a little red ball. Looks like he's shooting at the dunk tank. This girl has a nice tank top printing on the front and back. And a nice translucent popsicle element piece. This kid is holding an orange uh, little tile, which is supposed to represent a ticket. And we have this girl uh, with a teddy bear. And moving on to the adult figures. These are all uh, fair guests. This guy looks like he's about to puke. We have this guy, kind of looks like a little surfer dude. He even has a little surfer guy on his shirt. This lady who has some nice sand green pants. Another lady with a blue shirt. And now we move on to the fairground employees. This is the truck driver, but he also doubles as the fairground mixer ride operator. This is the ticket lady. As you, she, uh, as you can see, she has a ticket that she's uh, ready to hand to a customer. This is the lady uh, who works in the dunk tank. She has a wetsuit on with a nice zipper in the back. And then we have the stilts man who has some uh, very colorful batons that he's twirling. And then this hat I stuck on there. They also give you a hat so you can take the stilts off and then you can be just like a normal worker at the fair. But uh, for now I just have his hat up there. And uh, yeah, this is a cool one. But anyways, that's it for the minifigures. All right, so the next thing we're going to be taking a look at is the smaller truck, which holds the games. I'm just going to go ahead and take these games out, and then we'll look at just the truck, and then we'll look at all the games individually. So this is the dunk tank. I'm just going to show you how these all come off, how they're all packed on. Ticket booth. And then uh, the, the hammer game, which slides under there like that. All right, with all those games out of the way, we can get a much better look at the truck. It's uh, kind of a simpler truck. It's just a little flatbed truck. It has some modified tile pieces on the back to hold the games in place. Uh, would have been a little better to see those in black. Not sure whether they chose brown, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, some tail lights. You can see the empty cavity in there where the hammer game goes. We have some uh, fuel tanks on the bottom as well as there's a little light. A little flashlight clip down there. Uh, there's an empty clip on this side, but the clip on the other side has a broom on it. And another fuel tank on this side. And there's a little hammer piece, a hammer element clip down here. Uh, the roof comes off the top. Nice printed piece on the top that says Lego Amusements. With a nice Ferris wheel on there, which is pretty cool. And looking inside, a little brown chair with a steering wheel and a red coffee mug. I like it when Lego puts the coffee mugs in there. It's a nice little novelty. And then uh, this gray piece on the front, which I really like. It's on the main truck as well. They put a piece like this. It gives the vehicle a more heavy-duty look, which I really like. All right, I want to just quickly pull down the uh, city garbage truck just to show you how this uh, model compares uh, as far as size goes, how it compares to a city vehicle. And uh, They're pretty similar, so... They just give you a little idea of how they compare. Now let's move on to the ticket booth. As you can see, the sign has been folded down for transportation. If you move it back up, we can see the sign. Uh, that is a sticker, as well as this down here is a sticker showing the ticket prices. Move it to the side. We have some brick-built striping. And then the inside of the ticket booth, there's a little cash register with some drawers. The top one has the money. And the bottom one has tickets. All right, next thing we're taking a look at is the dunk tank. Uh, first thing I like about this is it actually is functioning. So if you can get a ball and you can throw it at that target. Oh, I missed. <laughs> and on there, it's the actual fall in there. 
which is really neat how they were able to make it functioning. Uh, the kit comes with this little table with two balls. The kit's only supposed to come with two, but mine actually came with three. This was an extra piece, so that's pretty cool. And then looking at the dunk tank, these are all stickers on here. Uh, the target's also a sticker. As you can see, I kind of put it on off-center. And uh, the door's open in the back. So you can get the, uh, the lady out. And then I'll just show you how this mechanism works. Uh, you know, nothing too fancy. Nothing too, you know, it's not anything too advanced. It's just, you know, you knock this out and it swings out so that can drop down just using gravity. And then uh, last thing is that all the windows on here are like uh, translucent blue to give the illusion that there is actually water in here. And then also another thing is this uh, ladder going up to the side. That's all for the dunk tank. All right, and then the last one of these little games that gets loaded onto the blue truck is the, uh, I guess it's called the strongman game or the hammer game. Uh, it's also functioning just like the dunk tank and it comes with two hammers, a smaller one for the minifigures, then a big one for you to use. And uh, you can try to hit this, try to get it all the way up. If you're not a wimp like me, maybe you can get it all the way up to ring the bell. All right, now we're going to move on to the main truck. But before I show you the trailer mixer part, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the cab. Let's go ahead and disconnect the trailer and take that off as well. And let's look at just the truck. All right, so this is a very big, very heavy-duty truck. Looking at the front, it has the, these gray elements again to give it that big grill, big heavy-duty look. It has a lot of lights on the front, normal headlights, and then these brighter lights. And then even more lights up on the top with some horns. Uh, I like the use of those little arm elements uh, or the lever elements, I don't know what they're called, to look like windshield wipers. You can open up, take off the top, open up the inside. It's a sleeper cabin or sleeper cab, uh, whatever it's called. It's got a bed in it, two seats, got the nice coffee mug going on steering wheel and then uh, two windshield pieces to make one long windshield looking at this top section uh, I like how they did this with instead of just putting one sticker over multiple pieces it's actually two separate stickers that go on the pieces uh, but this is yeah, pretty simple build I got some horns up there some lights and that while I put it back on top I guess and then just the back part, we have the little hitch where the trailer hooks on, uh, some mud flaps with the mixer logo on there, and then there's a little cavity in here, uh, so this axle on here, or this little rod on here can fit in, and this can uh, go on the back. Alright, and then again, I just want to compare the size of this truck to the other trucks. Uh, this one's actually significantly wider compared to the garbage truck. Um, and then I went ahead and I just pulled out a road plate to show you how these fit. Uh, this one, it fits all right. Uh, the mirrors overhang a little bit, but, uh, then trying to have another vehicle pass, it's kind of a problem. They kind of hit there. This one kind of has to go off a little bit. Um, then the blue truck actually fits in the lane really nicely um, you know the garbage truck can pass without a problem and then uh, just for fun I'll show you this one trying to pass and again it is pretty close it kind of just hits the broom there but uh you know it's not too bad you know this you know it's obviously a larger rig even in real life larger rigs aren't going to fit on normal road lanes too easily so, you know, it's not too big of a problem, uh, but yeah, I just want to show you how it, you know, if you're planning on having this, you know, driving around your city, just want to show you how it sizes up. So now we're going to move on to the mixer. Uh, obviously, the main feature of this mixer is that it actually has the ability to fold up uh, onto the trailer of a truck. So we're just going to have Avery go ahead 
and show you guys how this thing has unfolded. All right, Avery, are you ready? Yeah. All right, I'm going to time you. Let's see how fast you can do it. All right, go. Go ahead and talk through what you're doing. Um, so, like, you have to, like, put it like that. I don't, I don't really know. I can't talk through this. I know. Oh, no, you broke it. <laughs> Come on, this is adding to your time. What? It's not fair. Um... I forgot to where to put where to put this. Oh yeah, wait, don't you like put that in or something? Yeah, come on, come on. You're almost at a minute now. <laughs> come on, talk through it, talk through it. So you're just putting the fences, hooking them up to this little garbage can. Uh, this little garbage can build, which comes just uh, a little added decoration just to clip the fences together. And uh, these little uh, top pieces on the fence are actually glow in the dark, which uh, at the end of the video I'll go ahead and show this with the lights off. Because there's also glow in the dark elements on the mixer itself, so that should be pretty cool to see. I forgot where to connect them to. Oh, yeah, right here. Okay. All right. Okay. That's pretty good. That's two minutes. What? <laughs> two minutes uh, to get this thing set up. So let's go ahead and look at it in depth. All right, so I guess the uh, funnest way to. Uh, talk through this would be to uh, show it as if you were a rider so let's go ahead and get the operator down here and then let's just pretend this is you here so you walk up give him your ticket you go up the stairs oh there's a nice operators operators panel with a little gauge on the side red light so you go ahead and walk up wait for a car to approach the platform Get you ready for the ride. Put you on there. This is this guy's alternate face, actually. So he's not vomiting. Not yet. <laughs> Strap him in there. All right, now you're ready for the ride to begin. I'll just be cranking it here. This is ready for power functions, so you can hook up your motor and a battery box to this. And you can uh, get it going by itself. If you don't have power functions, you can just use this crank. As you can see, uh, there's two different motions here. The main thing spins around, and then these cars actually uh, spin around individually. All right, and then just to kind of show you how these functions work, when you spin this crank, it spins this longer white axle, which makes the whole thing spin. And then these wheels ro uh, roll along this track. Spinning uh, axle underneath, and then these gears uh, make the car spin as it rolls around and makes the wheel spin. It also turns this under here to make uh, these w spin independently. All right, now just a quick brush over of the cosmetics. We have these little, uh, I don't know what you call this, this little decoration on top is pretty cool. Then we have the center, this kind of triangular uh, assembly uh, which is using some uh, odd techniques but it's pretty cool the way it comes together and then each of these arms are actually uh, identical builds just in different colors so I'll just show you the yellow one it has this little each one has a little light on top with these uh, every one of these little white circular tiles are actually glow in the dark so these ones are and so are these and uh, sort of the little safety bars uh, all, um, all 12 of those are glow, uh, glow in the dark. All right, so we can go ahead, we can lift this off. 
remove the fence, and now we can get a closer look at just the trailer itself. Alright, so looking just at the trailer, it's more of a Technic build, lots of gears and rods. Uh, if you turn the crank, it spins this, the, the main rod through here, which makes this axle in the middle of the turntable spin, which makes the whole ride spin. Looking at these little uh, two rods and this red piece here, this is all for hooking the fences up for transportation. Then looking at the back, we have these mud flaps that we saw on the cab of the truck. The same mud flaps with the mixer sticker. And then the basic stuff that is on every Lego vehicle. You know, the red and orange lights and the license plate. Uh, this is here. This here we have, uh, you can put it up for uh, transporting the mixer. And then you put it down for when you want it to stay in place. We have this uh, some lights along the side. These clips for hooking up the fence. And uh, that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights and show you what these glow-in-the-dark elements look like. Uh, they've been charging under the studio lights for quite some time, about a half hour. So it should look pretty good. It should shine pretty bright. There we go. That looks good. Now I'll just spin it a little bit. This is really cool. I really like that they put this in. At nighttime, this set looks really neat. Uh, it's the only thing in the city that glows, so it really stands out. And, uh, yeah, it looks really good. Alright, so I thought the best way to close out this video would be to go ahead and show you guys the mixer in context in my city and show you how it's really this kit that pulls together the whole fair. I mean, yeah, we have the Ferris wheel which is the big main attraction that really pulls the attention. But it's this kit and all the little things like the fencing, the ticket booth, all the little games that really uh, pull together. It's like the glue that really puts the fair together. And uh, so the only thing left is my rating. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. I really like this kit. Uh, you know, a fair is the coolest thing to have in your city. And if you want a fair, you need the fairground mixer. You know, you can't do it with just the Ferris wheel. You got to get the fairground mixer because it comes with all the little things you need. Um, but yeah, really fun kit. A lot of vibrant colors. A lot of great detail. And uh, thanks for watching. This has been my review of the Creator Expert Fairground Mixer. Uh, catch you guys next time.